Here we go. I'm ready. Okay. Are you ready? You can cue the music. Thank you. Okay. Hello and welcome back to The Way, The Tea and the Life. As always, I'm your host, Tabitha. And I'm your host, Trinity. Trinity and I are the directors of the women's ministry over at Light Sprinkles of Life Streams Church. And we're going to get right into the show. Today is National Talk Like a Pirate Day, which we strongly urge you to not participate in. Pirates are correlated with greed and lust of the flesh, and I believe they say the word booty more than I care for. Instead, today we encourage you to talk like you're walking on water. Now let's get right into Is It a Sin? This is our most popular segment. And we can really help people because if you don't know if something is a sin, we will let you know if it is a sin. Microblading. Is microblading a sin? By microblading involves the permanent alteration of the hair above your eyes. That's your eyebrow. It's my hair right underneath my bang. Uh, ladies, this is far too close to a tattoo. I think it is a tattoo, so that's a sin. By getting microbladed, you're basically telling the Lord, no, I don't like the eyebrows you gave me. That's right. Our next question was cold brew. Uh, cold brew is a very strong coffee. The beans are soaked for extended periods of time in lukewarm or cool or sometimes tepid room temperature all the way up to cold uh, water. Cold brew, to clarify, is a sin. Yes. Not because the actual beverage is a sin but it's an association with other brews like a micro brew, which is I don't want to say it, but that's beer. That's, an al that's alcohol. If there are small children in the room, I'm so sorry. And you know, they often come in artisanal uh, glass jars that resemble mm -hmm. the same sorts of uh, jars that you might see moonshine carried around in. So now this next one's a real hot button issue, and that is the question of succulents. They're very popular right now. We see them all over the place. They say, we don't need your water, Lord, right. and we need the heat. Like we're in hell. The Lord sends his daily manna and the cactus rejects it. The cactus says, no, I'm going to do this all on my own prickly self. I think it's almost certain that the cactus was not part of intended creation, but rather was a product of the fall of man. Can you imagine succulents in the Garden of Eden? I oh, cannot. Of course not. I'm just so sad about this too because, you know, I see a lot of succulents at and that's the Hobby Lobby. Trinity was so upset about this. I walked in the other day. There were succulents all over the place. Oh, nice. That's all we have today for you, ladies. We want to make sure you're following us on Instagram. Our handle is the way, the tea, and the laugh. One of our fans on Twitter called us the TTs, which I thought was cute. So the TTs, I love that. Yeah. As always, I'm Tabitha and my co-host Trinity, and that's the tea. Mm -hmm. This is this is my jam right here. I can't, you can hear. I can hear it. Do you hear it now? 